Yeah, yeah, yeah. From here, the bodies instrumental and radio. You know, this is one of the bodies shows on radio. And I'm about to say one up. Why? For the rest of the body, body show, them that we're on the bridge, 99 FM. This is the streets. According to me, your boy, Shells. Yeah, man, if you're just joining us, though, we'll go up until 11. And you just missed the first segment. We'll just highlight some trending topics. You know the vibes. Big up my guests. In studio with me, Mark Anthony Deacon, the beautiful Estriana Bell, and the genius himself, the troublemaker himself, Cornelius Grant. But we have one more guest in a gents and lady. I'm honored. I, I I remember hearing Mark telling me that she she loves the vibes of the show, from especially from the last one. Big up self, Cornelius. And you <laughs> know, you. she said, oh, she just had to be a part of it. Her work in politics, you know, we can't doubt that. Big up herself. And you know, currently, you know, she's a special projects coordinator with the Urban Development Co- Corporation for the government of Jamaica. It gives me great pride to welcome Mrs. Sharon Hay Webster. She's on Zoom. She, she is she hearing us? Ah! Yeah, I'm hearing you. I hear all the messages. <laughs> yeah. Greetings, everybody. Greetings. Greetings, my Greetings, my most I. Very special greetings to Kevin. Kevin and I coming from way, 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 way back. Nice. Plus, him is a KC youth and he's a Saint Hughes girl. Oh, but. Uh, Mama Sharon, you know something I fought this man too, so it's like the connection what? just makes it. Yes, Come on, man. Good man. Good All right, we're in good company. It's a good look, man. Tell us, you know, big up Talat <laughs> High School. Big up Spanish okay. Town. No, uh, no, that's up the road from you on my line, road. Uh, oh, big, up, right. big up, big up Osemati. Different parish at that, boy. Different yeah. parish at. No, no, that's my former space. Ah, oh, oh, see, right. that, that's it. Three terms. Did quite a bit of work there. Yeah, she did three it. terms that in that constituency. Big up herself, Mama Webster. All right. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, the vibes tonight, the reasoning tonight, millennials and parenthood. There is a reasoning out there I'm hearing in the social media spaces, I'm seeing hearing in the streets that, you know, our generation just don't seem that ready. Or that engaged or that enthused when it comes to parenthood. Like it doesn't read if I have a list of priorities, if it's the top five, it is six on the list. You understand me? I say? Um personally I believe this is a case. This happens because I feel like our generation and guys correct me if I'm wrong. I feel our generation is a generation that's 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 openly breaking away from traditional views of thinking and ways of thinking. Um, a lot of things have come into play, social media, a lot of stuff, a lot of different pressures. I mean, I know the generation before man said, Well, we know about pressure. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we you know, we we we're taking on things a bit differently. We have different ways of thinking. And um and if you take a look at even medicine, science and technology advancements in those areas, there's no real rush, I would say. I don't think uh, and Estriana and of course um uh, Sharon, you can help highlight that. Uh, is it a, is it still cause the first thing I want to know, this biological clock that women have. Is it still, right. does it still exist? Is it still a thing where women it are... It can't, it, of course mm-hmm. it exists. It's, exist it's just that, um, because we have more information available to us now, mm-hmm. there are more options for us to be able to take decisions about if and when uh, we want to have children. And not because I choose to give you some of my sweetness mean that you own me, and mm. that mean me I'm going to marry to you, and that mean me I'm going to breed for you. You understand? Mm. Things change. Right. Things have changed. Right. And I'm happy for it in one sense, because I'll tell you, as MP, boy, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'll never forget one day a woman came to me, six picked me, mm. all of them unregistered, including the eldest as an 18-year-old that was about to make her a grandma. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. And every child was for a bad man were dead. Wow. No, wow. I'm not saying that that is... That is prevalent now, but it's part of what has been my own experience. And you've had to, you've had to engage with it and work out how you can give the support. And at the same time, mm-hmm. saying to the younger ones, look here and follow that, you know. But what mm-hmm. you find happening now, I believe, is because the birth rate has dropped significantly. Yes. Significantly, some 17% from what I've checked, mm-hmm. right? And this is not Jamaica alone. Yeah. Um, it's a worldwide trend. And it's because people have more access to information. Um, they're making more choices. I'm winding down. I don't want to take all of That's the fine. discussion. Good but I would, I would want to say to you too that we'll lose something with it too. Mm. Why? Um, for us in Jamaica and the Caribbean, the family is a network. Mm-hmm. Auntie, uncle, grandma, great-grandma, 
a whole set of people that helped to grow you as a child, certainly for me, mm -hmm. right? I don't know that that is the case now. Mm -hmm. So what you do, what you what you're losing is a as a is a is a network of of experience that can assist you to bring your child up. So for the younger ones, no, they don't have that. Yeah. <clears throat> and and that I think is part of the challenge why teachers are having so many problems in classrooms, because for many of us, um, the teacher is the parent. Cause truth mm. is, you know, the teacher sees that child or teachers, that institution yeah. sees that group of children, however many they are, for the most hours as an individual teacher to child and as a, 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 a source of authority, mm. more than a parent. Yeah. And wow. that's part of the challenge you have. And those people themselves are parents too. So they have their own pressures. So when picnic come in and go on bad, mm. some of them really just don't have the patience mm. um, to, 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 to be more observant and listening and, and, um, and help. Yeah. Completely and part understood. of it too, but man, tell you some of them parents, they're dangerous, you know, those are nothing too hard to them. You know, you're going yeah. to have a serious, serious <coughs> problem. I, that, man. I mean, I? yes, I'm on. So there's a pressure on, mm. on, 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 on women, but I think there's also pressure on men, and the pressure is Agreed. Is, is, Agreed. is a lot. Mm -hmm. Because as I just said to you before, there's an unrealistic expectations or expectation that society and overall people say they have a, f a man our men should have child at a certain age. Mm -hmm. And once you reach 21, <clears throat> people saw, always say to me, you know, me at 20, when me at 21, me have my first youth, and now me at 32, and me have all five or six. And, and they don't understand right. it's, it's pressuring because, you know, you're trying to... to you mind to, all six? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, we don't know. That's not the question, you know. No, you yeah. mind all six, but at the same time, you're, you're looking at that and you're, and, you're, and you're a little bit worrying and you're wondering what is happening. And it so happens. Bridget, let me tell you, can I cut in? Yeah, can go ahead, man. You can cut in. And I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. um, a man like Mark would know because he was in the space that I worked in. Having to intercede in inter gang conflict consistently, Spanish Town, Village, Gregor Park, you know the consistent message out there why boys and men gathered together? They wanted mm -hmm. a sense of belonging, they mm -hmm. wanted a family. The mother who them live with, never give it to them. Them father who not there, or even the father if them live with them, don't make them feel valued. Don't mm. listen to them. A lot of it, a lot of any discipline or tech care, so to speak, mm. was filled with a little bit too much negative energy. Mm. And I will tell you consistently when I sat and listened to them, mm. they wanted family. They wanted a sense of belonging. And you mm. know, no matter how harsh the rules were for that gang, they felt great pride in being associated with it. You know why? Mm. I'm associated with this group. I have a rank in this group, and this group is respected. Mm. There's honor for being in that space. Right. Where is the honor in families now? That's a key question. Wow. I'll wow. put that to you. Yeah. Um, well, food for thought. That's a it is no Estriana. Yes. I see you, you know, you brought with you. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to give my take on yeah, the whole of course. millennial parenthood. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put in a little bit of thing in it as well. No problem. Women mm -hmm. are always being pressured, and as you said, there's a biological clock, mm -hmm. and so much pressure has been placed on women. Like they say, her time expires when she reaches 30. Mm. So before she even reaches 30, she's supposed to have a child, be married, mm -hmm. have a home, have a family. These things are very pressuring. Mm -hmm. And so millennials, it's a change for them where mm -hmm. they now not want to be married at 30, mm -hmm. but they want to be career-driven women, working women, things like that. So I think that's one of the cause why women are now stepping back and saying, okay, I don't want to have three, mm -hmm. five children and being at home raising a family. I want to be a career woman, a working woman that's getting her bag, getting her money. Mm -hmm. Secure the bag. Yes, yeah, secure the bag. Yeah. So I wouldn't necessarily disagree or agree with it mm -hmm. to each his own, but 
just like technology, science, mm -hmm. and all of that, change is inevitable, and that's what we're experiencing right now, a you change. Know, you know what, you know what, you know what, me and Mids right now, me and Mids, a, a, a vibe I'm getting right here is that, and it's a struggle we have with our generation, mm -hmm. which traditional values to keep and which one to mm -hmm. let go of, yes. you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because what I'm getting from, from Sharon especially, that there's a breakdown in, in just family systems where, where like enough you right now, not really, them, them, them seek family their own way. Yeah, you understand me. So the traditional viewpoints of family don't really make no sense to them because they've never said that. True. So my my view, my question to you, Cornelius, is which traditional is should we just do, create our own traditions as a new generation and just say oh, these are the way to go forward, or do we still have to hold on to certain ideologies because it just makes sense? <coughs> Boy, why do I have to be the bad guy in this? Eh? Why <laughs> do I have to guy. be the bad guy? Yes, I have to I'm be the bad, bad guy. guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even now, frost right now, go nice. Mm -hmm. Well. Let me add a little to what um, everyone was saying. This is an easy topic that we all could agree on. Mm -hmm. But we have to always show a different side. So no matter what topic, mm -hmm. we can always show a different side in reality. Is what the what the M word, remember me have a list of you know, some <laughs> millennials. Know sound, yeah, say it again. Millennials. Is mm. what they have as ideal good for the planet. Mm. And when I say good for the planet, uh, we are the only living creature that are the ones that are taking care of the planet, even though the planet can take care of itself. Mm -hmm. But mm. we are here to be fruitful and multiply. We are destroy the planet too. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are here to, yeah, we are, we say we are the most sense, but are we are well, the most damaged yes, to the right. planet. Mm -hmm. And mm. uh, the Bible says- suffering as a result. Yeah. yeah. So me no want to make it biblical, but the Bible says we will be fruitful, fruitful and multiply. multiply. Before mm -hmm. everybody gets so educated, um, what were the 18th century, the 16th century, the world they worrying about how many people are going to overpopulate the world? Is food here to take care of mm. so much persons? Mm. No, jobs are here. We are, if everybody else said they want to be so successful and every woman wants to be career and get those bags, mm. no, every career woman only want one penny or no penny. Mm. Zin, what got me to the world in the next 50 years? What got me to the human race? You get me? So all these new type of people will come up with them, new type of culture, and, oh, I'm so independent, and I don't want to have a child until 35 or, or 36. Or, but then mm -hmm. people never did really watch age or whatever. Now it's even better. Because that even science. if some, not even a science, mm. it's even better that even if a girl get pregnant within school, but then if she get pregnant, she get shunned out of school and the school not pick her up, you know. Okay. She can pick up from where she left off if she get pregnant. Not and saying, any, any, so, any young so. girl I see to me never say, I forgot, I forgot, I'll be a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just making a point. Right. So I'm saying so. it's even better now but then, then where if it, if things are infrastructure is set now for anybody that get pregnant early, mm -hmm. they can go back to school, get themselves educated, get themselves in a good job. Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening now, I know time is getting harder, but there are new jobs it's creating. Mm -hmm. And some people, some women and some men too, like life easy. But hold on, Collins, mm -hmm. I want to jump in there. So I understand what you're saying, and I'm going to be a bad guy too. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be a, a bad guy. So yeah, I hear what you're saying. Times are hard, but yet there are jobs. But are there sustainable jobs? Because what we need is sustainable jobs. We need jobs to sustain people. We don't want people to have a little, and I'm not beating down call center people, but mm. I don't believe mm. that the call center job is sustainable. It, you can't raise a family for a call center job. <laughs> Things are becoming higher. So cost, hold on. Mm, cost of on. living is becoming very high. And I, I've come to that reality that, listen, some people, and I believe that the universe will have it that way. I believe that God will have it that way. Yeah. The, some people are going to have pitney and some, some now are going to have pitney. That's, that's, that's been some people are going to marry and some now are going to marry. Some of you got dead with 100 pitney as a starve and some now are going to have none. We, I, as I said before, there's a, this, 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 this unrealistic expectation and pressure. Mm. I have been pressured a lot. I don't want to have pitney. I pitney. Yeah. Where I tell them to put a gelding truck to all of me. Yeah, me feel like I said to all of me to put a gelding truck. Me I want me no me no passenger again. Me I own a. Yeah. Because I drive a truck. More than drive a truck, me own a truck, man. Oh yeah. So me I tell them I want children, but it's so pressuring because when they even go to our family reunion and them say, "Why you don't have any yet?" Yeah. That's how the whole people say. You don't have any yet, and yeah, I say no. They say, "Mm-hmm." You have girlfriend. Yeah. Then start. That's what I say. 
Come on, little boy. A yeah, 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 swing. Yeah. So they, they, actually, and, and there's defense. so much. Yeah. There's so much. Um, there are so many things people would say about if you don't have children at a certain age. And it's very pressuring. And I, and I agree with Estri. There are women out there who, who say, that I don't depend on a man. I don't have, I don't set my own life, set mm -hmm. my own goal. And power to those women who Always. want to do that. Mm -hmm. yes. You don't have to force them to stay home and, and mind 100 pitney. You don't have to. Don't Times have so. changed. Ma, make us well, say something. Know? Reality has Inevitable. changed. Talk. We are make us say something. Mm -hmm. And the first... When I got here, a young man come young, you know, to yeah. them at 36 in a chow and 10 yeah. o'clock coming out permanent, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the first thing I got here, a young man said this now. As much as a woman is being pressure, pressured to have kids, we just the same. Can't yeah. balance. Every, every a two wee man not talk. Yeah, it's true. hard. It's every very day hard. they're on a friend and they might trouble you because they jump off a chop. Father's Day is the next thing. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. This is uh, my son, is two. A one pick me have. Right. So me have my first child at 34. Right. So try and know if it's 34 years, me I get teased until me jump off I chuck you know. Mm. Now listen to me. I choose to have my child at that age and I'm not financially stable, but when I look at certain things, I look at this as something met my son. <laughs> After we don't talk, maybe people follow me. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. when I look at I reach 34. And life is short and nobody know life is unpredictable. Me can say me a wait till my financial be stable for have you to me know if me have me, me see tomorrow. That I want. Mm. Secondly, time I catch up on me, I'm getting older. I want when my son is running, I can run him down. Mm. I don't want when I go to my son graduation, <laughs> them say, Oh, your grandfather come. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so I might sit up and say, All right, yes, I you know. So if me live for 64, my me, me son is going to be 30, at least we can live for see. I am a grandfather age because I want to be a granddad. I want to live to see somebody say, Grandpa. So Agreed. when me look on it now, me now look and say, Oi, as an entertainer, I'm a boss tomorrow. At 15 years, I'm still away from a boss. <laughs> I agree, with you. I agree I'm with you. still in an entertainment. So when me look on my age, I go up. I mean, look and say, yo, me know that sucks about here, you know. By the time now, one last coffee, six I, When me go wait, when last coffee, thousand dollars. <laughs> Better me work, me work with the six bills now, because when Laska told me, I said, ah, that Laska two grand. So, me yourself, I hear one, I turn to for it, nobody, no, because if me have 50, I don't so, <laughs> my son, you know what I mean? So, you, who can say that I'm going to wait for my fortune and all of these things, because the fortune might come and you don't have the yeah. health to take care, of, take care of kids. And then, look at it, you have a child late. And then you know get a strokes now. You know where you left that little 15 year old left to do when you have your own at, at 35. When you left, when you have 50, your son at 15, mm. you catch a strokes. You take that you turn that 15 year old. I forgot to turn one big man you early know, because <laughs> maybe a young man alone live because your wife dead. A certain you know what's interesting, so, Cornelius? You, you know what's interesting as you speak. Mm -hmm. As you as Carnage, why well, has to make sense in a bridge? What about sense, man? What about sense, man? But at the same time, at the same time, at the same time, what he's saying is pressuring somebody else. Listen, uh, it is. It yeah, is. That's what I'm it is. So my question to Sharon is, is is it wrong for someone our age group, as you know, to say, I don't want kids, you know, like I, I don't want to bring a child in this world, because that's a rightfully say, if Lasko not two months time can reach thousand dollar. <laughs> You understand mm. me? It's, a, it's probably fair to somebody if you say, yo, you know, I'm mm. just stick with my cat and my two plant them. Yeah. And, 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 and just left it there. So is that, is, that, is that fair to say, Sharon, that, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just stopping my bloodline here? Yeah, let me <laughs> tell you something. My daughter is 30. Okay. And she says she now have no picnic. Wow. But listen, but no, but hold on, hold on now. Mm -hmm. She lives with her best friend and their husband and their family. And she is godmother to two sons. Mm. And you would think it's fair to picnic them. Yeah, because it's like it's like you in ever her... see her with them when she gets home in the evening. They run to her like she's mama for them, right? Mm -hmm. so, so there's a role that she has. She's made a choice. Um, my son, however, has made me a grandma. You might have to pick me. Thank yeah. God. Thank <laughs> God. You see, son? Grandma, big up your son. Big up your son. <laughs> huh? Me say, big up your son. I may, I, have so, I may have something to tell the daughter when I don't talk. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I maybe you, but, maybe but, after but, I don't but, talk, she But, but I respect their choices. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah, true. Have to respect their choices. Right. Right. You understand? Um, in, in making those choices, though, I would say to you, all right, I only have two. My parents had four. Okay. Um, two, two have died so far. Mm -hmm. um, eldest and youngest, so to speak. Um, the the rest of us, the us five, sorry, us three mm -hmm. that are here, 
we're going a little closer because of that, but it's three of us. Mm. And then they're our children. So when we gather at a Father's Day from my brother, we gather together mm -hmm. and we make jokes and we go back and forth and thing, even if it's Zoom. Because, mm -hmm. you know, because of COVID, you can't move around. Right. And guess what? You see, because of COVID too, you get to pull in family from all across the world. True. So there's the, 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 the issue of social networks has caused us to be able to take different decisions, but also deepens our connectivity in another way. And I think we're losing the sweetness of just being able to sit and spend time together. Because look on this now, we're here on Zoom for an hour mm -hmm. and we're gone. That's it. Till mm -hmm. next week. Not so. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's just that short time. If if you're in a family home and you come up and it's a house with six people living, for example, yeah, you might fight about some things, but there's a certain comfort of coming home. Mm -hmm. Sit down on the veranda, warm tea today, take off shoes, fling down things, cause who did say what, mm -hmm. or laugh about something, or say, come help me fix something in the car. That there's a there's a bond that's different, and we've lost that. Mm. Sure. People people are losing because of this push button thing. I can mm. unfriend you. I can block you. Mm. The, even as family, yeah. I block him, not talk to you. Years. And this way we're going. What yeah. happened then? It's microwave you lifestyle. Where going? The amount of black, them black people that can be lost. Losing that sense of value <laughs> of a personhood and yeah. connectivity to each other. That mm. energy is going. It and is. That worries. It is. Me. It, is. it worries me it as is. well. Uh, I, no, you know, so Carnius, we're gonna take a break quick oh, and fast. Yeah, man, cause we have lots to say about Bridge Nation. You know the vibes right now. It's all about millennials and parenthood. You know, are we still about having kids? Do we still believe in having kids? You know what I mean? What what what's the future looking like? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a serious discussion, you know. I'm, I'm grateful for this reasoning. But stay tuned, more to follow. They don't know this is the streets according to your boy Shells. We're so one tree. Sir, from here, the baddest instrument on our radio. You know, so one of the baddest shows on radio and modest to say one of why. Got the rest of the body show them the where on the bridge 99 FM. This is the streets. According to me, your boy Shells Walk. Well, I don't know, so we'll go up until 11. You miss out some stuff if you're just affording. What are you there? What are we upon? What did I do? You see me? But the reasoning tonight is all about millennials and parenthood. And you know, I have some great guests in the building. One on Zoom, of course. Big up, Miss Mrs. Sharon Hay Webster via Zoom. We got a lovely Estriana Bell. And of course, my brothers, Mark Anthony Deacon and Cornelius Grant. You know, gents and ladies, I'm loving the reasoning so far. I'm loving the ideology. I'm loving the mindset. I love the fact that, you know, Sharon is talking about the fact that, you know, there's a breakdown in ideology from the home. You know, I never really sit on a meds that, you know, it's like a lot of people don't see a good family structure. So how can they believe that they can create one? Sure. You see me? Um, I love the fact that Cornelius and Cornelius is eager to, to add something else. But Cornelius is saying that, look, what we are we upon? You see me? Yeah. 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 Time is time is real and life is short. Where are we upon? You yeah, understand what I mean? So Estriana is representing the ladies out there who are trying to secure the bag. They're like, yo, times change. I'm a working woman. Yeah. If this is what I got to do, I got to do this. If I get one youth out of it, fine. If I get none, mm -hmm. fine. As long as I accomplish my dreams. And of course, Mark, you rightfully I say, yo, listen, to each his own, to each her own. You see me? Mm -hmm. We all have a responsibility, but you can't be comparing yeah. apples and oranges. Not everybody, you know, puss and dog now have the same, same look. look. Mm -hmm. Now, Cornelius, you said something. You, you say you have something. For talk, yeah. During the break, yeah. Me and your officer, the floor yeah. is yours, brother. People out there are not putting pressure on anybody <laughs> to go and intercourse and create a human being. But right. I might say this to you: there are people that are crippled that wants to walk, and we have the feet are taking disadvantage of it. Mm. Read between the line what I'm saying. There are people out there that wants to create life and can't, and people out there can't do it, don't oh. want to. If you choose not to have a child that's yours, but later on in life, when you reach up in an age and you want a cup of tea, nobody mm. feels it because they take care of Tom Brown Pitney. Tom Brown Pitney must come look at you. Because listen now, how they, the children are going to look at it. As an adult, they are going to look at it and say, Cho, you know, give me life. Me no must have to spend time and look for you. Because my grandmother could not say, I want Pitney, she want to have. I mean, have a one auntie when a two, two, did I look for my grandmother and thing. But mm -hmm. guess what? She had options. And now the grandkids, them, me, lift up my grandmother. When my grandmother get old, senile and can't walk, and every time she go to hospital, and me, the grandson, she help create, help her when she's sick. A stranger, 
no must help you because you enough people eat out of my grandmother pot. And when my grandmother sick, my grandmother not see them on her sick bed. Mm. You know who she see? The pit in them she help create. Maybe the daughter not look on her because I can tell you my mm. auntie never told did I get a piano mine. Mm. But <laughs> the creation of where the auntie create and the rest of the daughter them create me. For about three years before my grandmother dead and blind me, when she helped create, lift her up, carry her, mm. my auntie change her pampas. We don't know what stage we are <laughs> in or when we get old, but remember, at the oh. picnic them we helped create, at the grand picnic them we come, oh, yeah. one of them must mm. come. But all and Cornelius, but all and Cornelius, all and Cornelius, yes, and we need to understand this, and I'm not beating you down, but what I'm saying is that, and parents, oh, they have to understand this, and I, I've heard it before. It's not your child's obligation mm -hmm. to take care of you when you're older. Mm. Morally. We know it. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk. Mm. Morally, it is what they should do. But there's nothing there. And let me say, and Rebecca, you know about law, to say that they have to. They don't have to. You brought them that here. They true. don't have to. Sometimes, the, even the ones you have as your children don't do it. Mm -hmm. But people out there who you don't have as children will do it. <laughs> is that the flip you understand side? me? Mm -hmm. Will do it. Because I've... I've helped a lot of old women in my community and I'm not related to them one bit. But guess what? I help them because they have helped me somewhere down the line or they have helped my mother somewhere down the line or they have helped my parent, uh, my, my family, mm -hmm. right? And I take them as f as, 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 as mother. mother. Yeah. So your own family don't have to do it. I mean, no what I'm saying is I believe that, the, and I, we spoke about it before, at the break, comparison is an issue. Mm -hmm. People are comparing people and putting pressure. Them say, oh, shells are your big brother. Oh, shells are five people. You know, I don't know where you're going with, boy. And mm -hmm. that becomes pressure. Because the truth is, a lot of young men and young men out there are being pressured. And if they don't want a child, don't push it. Don't pressure them. That's why they some want people, to what I'm saying, pressure. some people don't know. You say, oh, some people have the tool and uh, whatever, use it. There are people out there who don't even know that they can have children until they start yeah. trying. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know they don't, that, they, that they can't have children until they start trying. When they start trying, back weak when, have so a I'm saying, when they start man. trying, then they realize that there's some medical <laughs> issue. So I don't want to. <laughs> I want children, and I want everybody to have children. Cause we should. We should multiply and make the earth fruitful. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if a man don't want pitney, a woman don't want pitney, don't pressure them. Yeah, yeah. Respect, Let them make, their yeah respect their choices. But I me. Listen. Mark is single, no man out there want wow. a nice okay. grown young man. Oh, wow. Very, good. very yeah. strong, educated yeah. young man. Good man. Me yeah. want to make a football side arsenal. Where's <laughs> 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 the man you, Kevin? Man you, me want to make a football side, As long as you can take care of your football side, make sure you can take care of football side. You want to win? Yeah. Well, right. probably can make all a Jamaican side, no. you know. No, Estriana. Uh, um, yes, I wanted you know. to put something in there. Yeah, man, go ahead. A lot of people pressure you to have kids, but them stress thoughts, them they home with five, six pitney stress mm. thoughts. The man come in work, in work, him come in, him mm -hmm. not even look pan or look pan the pitney them. She they home, she stress thoughts. And then these are the women that pressure the other women, seeing them living them life, mm. reaching for their goats, pressure them. So, so oh, you're not a pitney, you're not a pitney. Meanwhile, them they home, them stress out, them man not even help, like look she after get a them. Break. Tell the Step one, well, one, Step one, two. Well, one second. Step one, two. One second. She get a heartbreak, one Cornelius. One second. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Me never knew that so she could not talk for <laughs> <laughs> Because she was also speaking this time. Yes, I'm like touching my... I hear the passion. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, yeah, man. That's so like it click. It look close to home. Yeah, man. Chip lick, man. Chip lick. Fry him, man. But go ahead, Estrella. Talk your shit, man. Yeah, I'm saying that. Can I back up Estrella, though, with one thing? Yeah, man. Back her up, Sharon. He is not... She is not caught in a situation with children and feeling unloved no romance mm. yes. and 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 frustrated mm. and that's important ah. mm. oh, getting that God. love and she's I, I, not I, I, bound in a relationship I, I, because of a child mm. and how, how much how, how many children do I, are affected by that yeah. you understand many of the children that our teachers are having problems with mm. are in that same situation that Estrana is speaking about. I agree. One woman with so many, one woman, one man, children there, and what poor man under stress, him can't cope with all these children mm -hmm. that went ahead and had it and it's difficult. So everybody's stressed out and the children don't have the, the time and care 
that's needed to make them feel the value true, that they true. should have well, you know, and Sharon, behave in a different way. Well, you know, Sharon, the moral values of our society has broken down. Because yeah. you see mother got dance and you see daughter got dance. Mm. Yeah. Mother <laughs> come in late and daughter come in late. Daughter Depends have boyfriend on, on, and mother have on. boyfriend now CMOs. Mm. Problem I had. Mm, yes, I hear you, but come on. I mean, it depends on age of the parents. I, I mean, I go party with my kids. Come we're on. not going to party with yeah, my kids. You must see, man. Me, me, <laughs> why? <laughs> them gone for them where I gone, man. No, man. Me and my son now broke up. I see him dance. Why? So you know what? You show you broke up. The only place my son must broke up with me at church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. No, you're biased. Me and him now broke up and no, no dance. I don't you're broke biased. up. That's, maybe biased. that's why. Wow. Maybe that's why it's okay. Me. Come, he's not a broke up person. Let me just say this right or something. Me and my son. Broke up at church alone. Now broke up and not dance. We have to broke up at church and family reunion. Then you may broke up and dance. Me tap go dance. So you know what? The youth is still on fire. That show, show him no, how things happen. If me come right to dance guitar and see him, me I come out making sense. Why? Then he's my big man, yeah, big man. Why not? Me and him not back up another dance. All right, gents. Let's enjoy, man. I hear you. All right, gents. So you know, so you know, so time I run up, but you know, so now we discuss about this. Boy, producer, so, <laughs> so I beg you, give yeah. us some more time. Yeah, now, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm allowing. Me pay a I'm allowing. <laughs> I'm allowing everybody. Uh, just a, just a, a quick, a few seconds, just to final thoughts. On, uh, on our generation and, and parenthood. What's the way forward, Mark? I say mix sugar and water for Mark first road. All right. Yeah, we're going through. But I would say, um, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. But the Bible rightfully said, be fruitful and multiply. Whether you want to adapt or you want to have mm. it, have it. But mm. I would say, everybody needs some, you know, that little cute little face <laughs> running up and down at the house. So me, me, I want to have children. But if a person don't want to have children, that is their what choice. And we have to respect their choice. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can't compare your life to their. You can't compare your parents' life or the life before that mm -hmm. to them. Things People see things differently. Right. Some people see economy as very hard right now. So we're begging government to help you out because mm -hmm. things rough you know. Right. Right. Well, we make more pitney too. <laughs> it's Jenna. Yeah, I was just going to say that life is a choice. And don't be pressured by anyone do things on your own timing when you're ready. Mm -hmm. That's right. all I have to say. Cornelius? Me have to be hard one out again. Mm -hmm. As usual, life short. <laughs> Nobody come talk about you gonna wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow is due to no one. And I tell you, you look a picnic, them is a joy. So you see, some mm -hmm. of all the most of who are talking, them are picnic and I want to enjoy the look stress part of it. Because we've been through the gate, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I said, don't have none yet. If you feel for have and I worry about the money, my grandmother always said, no picnic bound and suffer. And I've never seen a child in Jamaica bound and suffer. The government say, them who are more kids, they will pay for it. Go and have kids. <laughs> nice, I can segue into. So <laughs> for Sharon, what you have to say, Mrs. Oh, Lester? you know what my trouble is? Yeah. Warm to us old people. Mm. If no board. picking a bond. Ah. Who gonna take care of they, they, no, let's bring it back down to the matter, even the tax dollar. If no tax dollar no dead, uh, how our seniors gonna get the care that we should have? Mm. The money flows. Mm. But mm. I think about that too. Hmm. Sure. Well, in my final thoughts to each his own, to each her own. Mm. More power to you, whatever whatever choice you make. Um we are gonna see a switch. In the times to come, that's just how the world works. Balancing the world is real. So I agree with Estriana. It's your choice at the end of the day. One person in this household decides not to have a kid. Someone in another household will have a bag of kids. It's how the world balances out itself. Um, but personally, just like yourself, Mark, she just want a you too. You understand what I mean? Okay. Like, it's nice to see. What up on the truck? Yeah. Yes, sir. What up on the truck at the moment? What are you talking about? She's a <laughs> Yes, doctor, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful. I can imagine it's a beautiful feeling to see that you've created. But at the same time, there are many options out there. You can be a father figure. You can adopt. You can adopt. Yeah. You can become a father figure, a, a mother figure. Or be a know. good godmother, a good godfather. Exactly. Father. You are one yeah. thing I love about our generation is that we're no longer limited to certain traditional beliefs. And I want my, I want our listeners to just bear that in mind as we move forward in life. This has been a fantastic reasoning. Thank you, Mrs. Sharon Hill Webster. I really appreciate. The strength that you sure. should give us. Walk good. Are always. And, and, and Mama, big come up back here. a cricket here, Mama. Love and respect to everybody. Cricket final on right. Sunday here, Mama. <laughs> Cornelius <laughs> Grant. Bless up your earth, sorry again, my brother, when it forward and thing. Happy Estriana. birthday to you. Oh, I'm singing I'm Estriana. Estriana Bell. Thank you so much for passing through and adding some beauty. Pleasure. Yeah, man. And Mark, 
My brother, you don't know. I appreciate the support as much always, blessings, brother. Much blessings. This has been another fantastic episode, another fantastic show of the streets according to me, your boy Shells. We'll see you guys next week, but until then, walk good, enough love and respect. We're out. Thank you.